When a scoreboard service company technician instructs you to replace the wireless receiver on an outdoor scoreboard, this video will instruct you on how to correctly and safely perform this repair. Replacing the wireless receiver on a scoreboard is straightforward and relatively easy as long as you have a few basic tools and a safe way to reach the wireless receiver and access panel. The tools you will need to replace a wireless receiver on an outdoor scoreboard are a cordless drill, a quarter inch nut driver bit for your drill, needle nose pliers, and a 7 16 inch drill bit to create a larger hole in the face of the scoreboard to accommodate the new wireless receiver antenna. You will likely be completing the repairs or upgrades to your scoreboard while it is mounted in place at your facility. Use an appropriate size ladder, lift, or scaffold to work from. Be sure you are able to work safely with both hands free while you are working on the scoreboard. Before replacing any parts, turn off the power to the scoreboard. Carefully place your ladder, scaffold, or lift so that you can access both the front and back of the scoreboard without scratching or denting the scoreboard. From the front side of the scoreboard, you will need to remove the existing wireless antenna and lock nut from the scoreboard. Unscrew the antenna and use the needle nose pliers to carefully remove the nut holding the receiver in place. Now carefully push the receiver back into the cabinet. Next, use a cordless drill and a 7 16 inch drill bit to enlarge the existing hole for the new antenna. Reposition your ladder, lift, or scaffold to the rear of the scoreboard and remove the large access panel, usually located at the bottom middle of the scoreboard. Use your cordless drill and a quarter inch nut driver to remove the access panel fastened by the sheet metal screws. Behind this panel is located the control module. All of the scoreboard digits, power, horn, and wireless receiver connector attached to this control module. Remove the 5-pin DIN connector attached at the top right corner of the module. Next, carefully reach your hand inside the cabinet and remove the wireless receiver and its cable from the scoreboard cabinet. Installing the new replacement wireless unit is done in the reverse order of the removal process. Attach the 5-pin DIN cable from the new wireless receiver into the module. Remove the white Velcro protector strips from the new wireless receiver and reinsert the receiver into the cabinet. Insert the wireless antenna through the antenna hole and firmly affix the wireless receiver with the Velcro to the inside of the scoreboard face. Reattach the access panel to the scoreboard using the sheet metal screws. Now reposition to the front of the scoreboard and gently bend the antenna into a vertical position to complete the installation process. Now turn the power to the scoreboard on. Use your controller to test for the correct operation of the scoreboard including all digits, horn, and wireless controller connectivity. When the board is completely operational and you have control of all functions and features on your scoreboard, you have successfully completed the wireless receiver replacement. This repair should take 60 to 90 minutes. If you have a smartphone, tablet, or laptop computer and you have a wireless internet signal at the scoreboard, you may find it helpful to review this video on site while performing this repair. Consult your scoreboard service company technician for any questions or assistance during the removal and installation of the wireless receiver. Scoreboard Service Company 1-800-411-3136